Tell me about the watch you built. Okay, so we built TikTok Track, which is a watch that not only shows you the time on it, but also actually shows you how you perceive time. So, normally it's asleep in order to optimize battery life. Then if you double tap, it shows you the time right there. So you can see that it's 2.33. When you want to do a time perception task, you start off like usual and double tap in order to wake it up and show the time. You then double tap again and it gives you a random time to estimate. In this case, it shows 15 minutes. So after that, you then go about your day or do any type of task that you want. And once you think that that amount of time has passed, so if I thought 15 minutes has passed you know, during this talk, I would then turn back to the watch and on the watch, I would actually double tap it again. And this time, instead of showing the time, it actually shows how far off I was. So in this case, negative 14 minutes, because I tapped it almost immediately right afterwards. In addition, if you accidentally tap it in that case, you can actually double tap again, and it won't record that information. So you have an interest in psychophysics and time perception. And is that what drove the development of this? Right. So part of it is just in general being interested in the watch. But it was also wanting to see how different events would impact your time perception. And you can log this to an SD card also, right? Right. So all the data is logged directly to an SD card. Uh, the App Mega that we use, that Mega 32U4, is actually USB capable. So in the future, we would like to implement mass storage. But for now, you can actually just take the micro SD card out, use a SD card adapter, and upload it onto your computer. Once on there, we have actually set up an entire site where you can graph all your data week by week, day by day, hour by hour. So this shows up here uh, time perception, and it actually shows how many minutes off you were. So there, that was a large negative 362 minutes over the course of that hour. Uh, other places, it's a much smaller negative 9. Uh, and then in addition, since it also is a watch, it's very interesting to keep track of how often you check your watch each hour. So in this case, we can actually see that on Monday we were pulling an all-nighter all the way up till 6 a.m. working on this watch. And you can also keep track of, for instance, around this time is when I would go to class. Uh, these, where there's large time checks, was also right at the beginning of a class. So you can tell pretty well exactly what events have been happening during the day based upon how often you check your watch or how far off your time perception was. So can you take it apart now? Absolutely. Sure. <laughs> so here's the backboard. We have the vibration motor here that will alert the user when they have forgotten to do a time perception measurement. We also have the micro um, SD card. This is used for recording the um, time perception measurements. We also have the micro uh, USB. This is used for charging as well as it could be used to implement mass storage. On the front we have the lithium polymer battery here, as well as a boost converter which outputs a constant 3.3 volts. We have a charging circuit for the lithium polymer battery and the uh, temperature compensated real-time clock. Then we have the back of the top board which has the piezo tap sensor. And the front is the Atmega32U4 as well as 60 LEDs to do time perception as well as showing the time.